Hi, I'm David Wigner. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Firstly, I want to show you a, a photo I took of the same beach on the way to Christchurch on 15 May. Yes, that's correct. Tuesday. So today is the 19th of May. So this is a photo I took of the, the beach and uh, my first love really is chess. I mean, no, no, I'm, yeah, I'm just being silly. But my one of my first loves is photography. I really like um, photography. And um, so I've taken some nice photos in my time. So here you go, that's my photo. And uh, I will be bringing a refreshment of photos each day um, because I'm going to do that sort of thing anyway here we go this is right down to the wire this opponent is 2096 from sweden and um just have a look at how, how much this goes down to the wire the number eight wire for new zealand so anyway that that um photo is from um between it's just past palmerston on on the east coast of the South Island of New Zealand so very nice place there um, to it's a rest area there so you can uh, they don't really want you to camp there but you can rest there and and have a sort of a picnic picnic meal or some you know some eats and drinks on the way to Christchurch or Dunedin or whichever way you're going <clears throat> so this is quite a long game so I'm not going to um, tarry too long here I've just noticed I missed something just straight away I've seen it I play b4 what did I miss so that's the first exercise. I'm not sure how many exercises are in this Saturday edition of Session for Chess on YouTube for my hand. But the thing is, is that what did I miss? Duh. Silly Dave. Didn't see this move. And it's usually a move I see very quickly as I've just done now. Knight g5. There's no way for black to avoid losing something. And my position is all of a sudden, frankly, great. So that's the move I missed. So that's no good, Dave. Even here I can still play it. I can still play it here. So I missed it again. You know, I'm, I like to put myself on the time out map when I miss some of this. Now, black would have, um, after B, A5, they would have <coughs> this move here, but that wouldn't do anything to me because I'm, I just take here and I'm still attacking this pawn on E6. And if the bishop takes the knight, that would be full hardy of black because I would just take with the knight and I'm a clear piece up. So not very pleased with myself that I missed knight g5. It's the sort of move I tell other people off for missing. b5, knight e4. Now, after knight capture, which it does do, um, the knight g5 move is no longer possible. Because one black would be able to defend it with rook f6 and also bishop g5 after knight e4. So take knight e4 and he takes, he, she takes with their f5 pawn. See how feisty my, my opponent's play is. Pretty sort of light onto it, not, not wanting to wait around. So... This is nothing compared to the way this game goes. 
So this is good to show you uh, a position that um, you can struggle in and not even be sure of the result even towards the end or right up to near the end. <coughs> Bishop a3, now my opponent makes a mistake here by knight d3, bishop e7, queen e7, knight e4, so I've picked up a very important pawn in relatively the end game position, so this is not a good thing for black to have done, but it doesn't sort of mean anything really yet. Now here I'm threatening, of course, nothing. So I won't even say I'm threatening something. I'm now trying to centralise my um, pieces and find a good place for them. And I don't think I want a rook on the um, a rook on in this position. And please note, I've got a bad white squared bishop. That's a bad bishop. Bad, bad bishop. But it can come into life, but it's it's not my best piece obviously. Rook f8 and rook f1. I'm not interested in, in uh, defending uh, queen and rook sort of um, ideas. Rook f1, bishop f1. g6. Bishop e2. And I've got a wee exercise for you. So now uh, my knight and queen look like a, a nice little com um, nice little couple of pieces together units and that's the thing. So knight h5 I throw it in there but I'm not actually sure whether it's doing anything or not yet but I can play this with bishop h5 check if it happens and <clears throat> also black cannot just leave here of course because of the obvious queen g7 checkmate so that's queen 2 g7 checkmate so in this position knight h5 it's a little bit annoying to black but black plays king g6 now I play g4 this looks quite reasonable I'm putting another pawn on a white square which is really kind of like against um, a lot of information I give about um, weak bishops or and that's the thing bad bishops as it's called as opposed to um, good bishops Here, I probably should play um, bishop e4, knight e4, knight e4, bishop e4. And I forgot to give you a, a wee challenge there, but it's okay, I've got one coming up. Queen e5. <coughs> Queen g7. So this is defending the, the pawn on c7 by black. Queen G7, King G7, probably not my finest moment. Now we go Bishop D3. See, I, I've got a lame Bishop. My Bishop is somewhat crippled. So I have to um, be aware of all these pawns. Now if Black gets into this pawn situation, they're going to have a great feed on their, um, on their hands. King f6, now the king's coming into centralisation point, excuse me. The king is now coming into centralisation and I'm sitting there going, oh, this is even better. Not. Now, if I play e4 here, then the king can just, the king can just move in and all of a sudden uh, I have to play bishop here. I or here or something like that so that would be a blunder K 
King G3. I'm clutching at straws, I tell you. Bishop F5. Now, why don't I just take that? I could just take that, couldn't I? I didn't. But I could just take that. But white has a loo, you know, I think, I'm not sure. I think white's probably in a bad position after taking, but I'm not entirely sure. I played bishop e2, h4, g4. So these pawns look quite menacing, and it looks like white's going to get wiped out. And probably white has a lost position. <coughs> Excuse me. King here. Mm, wow. And I'm not going to play moves like this. I can probably... But then the king can end up on d3 and d2 and or I start wanting to bother my a pawn with obvious devious result. Cancel. King e2, just keeping some status quo. g3, now comes my wee little um, outlet is bishop g2 check, king e5, but hg3, hg3. Now that's a wee bit surprising. Um, yeah, I've got to watch out. I, if I go king here, then what would you play as black? If king here, Okay, then bishop d3 here is pretty good as far as I'm concerned for black. King d2. Now comes a move bishop e4. What would you do here? So what do you do here for white? How do you defend this? Looks pretty bad for white. Bishop e4. King e4. King e2. This looks really good for white. No, it looks really good for black. Everything always looks good for me. So anyway, now what? G2. Oops. Looks really bad. King f2. G1. Queen. Check. And if I don't take it, it's going to be pretty bad. So I take it. King e3. Now we reach a wee pinnacle uh, part of this game. Which is like you would consider it's down to the wire, isn't it? What next? So this is quite practical and easy and simplistic possibly but I hope you see it and so what would you play here for um, white to um, and and you've got very little time to do it of course what would you play for white here if um, you were in the situation uh, because you're practically lost aren't you for white if you're white if you're black you're thinking you've won but here we go so without further ado here is what i played next okay so it's reasonably simple breakthrough c5 and so black possibly played their best king d4 d6 so i've got a runaway pawn that uh has incidentally helped me by coaching and teaching and doing sessions on chess on YouTube and also the Canterbury Juniors. Um, this has helped me by seeing the basics because it's good to be able to spot these sorts of things. So here the game is soon lost for black. And that's the end of my session on Saturday 
the 19th of May 2018. Thank you very much for visiting. I will leave you with the vision of the beautiful coastline of the east coast of New Zealand, South Island, of course. Thank you very much for visiting and all the best with your chess, no matter what level of chess you are at. And I'm very, very happy to have some grandmasters friends with me on Facebook. I'm honoured deeply. I'm deeply honoured. And that's the facts of the matter. Thank you very much. See you next time on The Muppet Show with David Wigner. Over and out. <laughs>